Are you ready to solve a PSLE math question that tests you on your P5 average knowledge? Let's read this fun problem together, okay? The diagram below shows a scale that is equally balanced on both sides. What does this mean? Think of the time when you were playing on the seesaw with your friends. What can you tell about the mass of you and your friend when the seesaw is balanced? Yes. Both of you have the same mass. So looking at the diagram that we have, we can also tell that the mass of A and B must be the same as the mass of C. So far so good? Next, we are given that the average mass of A, B and C is 240 grams. Since we have the average mass and we know the number of items, we can somehow guess that we we'll need to find the total mass later on. But let's hold that thought for now, alright? The mass of B is a two-digit number. This means that B can have a mass of anything from 10 grams all the way to 99 grams. We don't really know how heavy it is now. Then here comes the question that we need to solve. Find the smallest difference between A and B. How would you go about solving this? Well, the best that we can do now is to find the total mass of A, B and C so that we have something useful to work with. Since we have the average mass of A, B and C, let's multiply it by 3, okay? And now we know that A, B and C have a total mass of 720 grams altogether. Great! What should we do next? Hmm, remember that A and B have the same mass as C? Since we know the total mass of the three items now, let's divide that by 2 to find the mass of A and B. When we divide 720 by 2, we'll get 360. And with that, we're halfway done. Good job everyone! Now comes the part where we need to find the smallest difference between A and B. How do we do that? Since we want to find the smallest difference, do you think we want B to be as small as possible or as big as possible? B should be as big as possible, right? And what's the greatest two-digit number that you can think of? I hope you said 99. We know that A and B have a total mass of 360 grams. If B is 99 grams, we can find how heavy A is quite easily. Agree? All we need to do is to take 360 minus 99. Did you get 261 grams? Now that we know the mass of A and the mass of B, are you ready to find the difference between them? When we subtract 99 from 261, we are going to get an answer of 162 grams. Were you able to solve this PSLE math question? 